Well, well, looks like linebacker Nigel Brannon was cut from the Saints today. I was notified uh, from a few people that he was cut. And, you know, this is what happens when you do this. This is what happens when you do that. And I already kind of put my focal point, my focus on what I didn't like about Nigel Bradham's comments going onto the Saints media and talking about the Eagles like they were just some nobody team out there. Um, you know, and really, you know, karma, it does happen to people. And I think this was a wake-up call for Nigel Bradham. I don't know if the Eagles really need Nigel Bradham this year. I honestly don't. And if he came back, he would really have to kiss our butts and... You know, at this point, he would have to play almost perfect for us because I would take anything less than perfect right now. I wouldn't take anything less than it. But that's what happened with him. I do not care. It is what it is. If the if for some reason something did happen and they had to bring him in, then whatever. He's on the team and that's it and he better play well. That's all. But for him to say what he said, I did not feel bad for him getting released. I didn't. And from what I heard on Twitter today is that he was competing and he just didn't make the cut. Maybe he's just another player that can't play for any other team. Maybe he's like another Vinny Curry out there. Because honestly, guys, and all props to Nigel Bradham, Nigel Bradham was probably one of our best free agent signings in a long time. That lasted a few years for his age, but obviously injuries did pile up with him and you know, things did happen. In other news, we get our cornerback back that was cut before train camp, Trevor Williams, ended up getting cut. Uh, before train camp and now he is back on a lower deal I don't know what the deal the numbers are but he is back with the Philadelphia Eagles this is a guy I didn't want cut this is a veteran this was an undrafted corner from the Chargers a while back uh, that had a good first year and ever since then he's pretty much been hurt every single year I think he was with the Cardinals last year I think he only played about two games but to have him back in this lineup ready but what you know what I didn't know is that he was rehabbing an injury from last year that he was still rehabbing so going into training camp the Eagles probably had a plan that if, you know, whenever he gets better, they want to bring him in. But as of right now, Trevor Williams is going to be in, and obviously, I don't know how much he's trained. I don't know what's been going on with him, but he's going to get his chance to compete. Another veteran. I like veteran corners mixed in with a lot of young guys. It really does help uh, the morale of this team, and he's a good locker room guy. I heard very good things about Trevor Williams. I've covered him a million times on this channel this past year and early, uh, late last year. So we'll see what happens, but I'm glad he's back. You get, you get more depth with the corner position, and you know what? Could he be better than Sidney Jones? Could Sidney Jones get cut before the season starts? I have no idea. Might they just pull the trigger and just say, you know what? We're going to cut Sidney Jones after this year anyway. Not really working out, so bring Tre Trevor Williams here on a one-year deal, and uh, and that's it. And then you, know, you get rid of both of them at the end of the year and then kind of upgrade the position later on. So I'm um, very happy with Trevor Williams coming back. I want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. What you guys think of Trevor Williams coming back and then Nigel Bradham just getting cut off the Saints after all of what happened. So other than that, that's about it, guys. I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, fly.